Next, never rest. Now, this powerful mantra has helped my next guest to transform experiences on the water and beyond. Please welcome CEO of Brunswick, Dave Falks. Dave, good to see you again, my friend. Great to see you too. Yes, Thank multiple, you for having me. years here at CS. I feel like we're bros now. We're a regular, we're yeah. a regular. You know what I love about that slogan? Is that slogan trademarked? It is trademarked. You should. Yeah. And we introduced it last year. Yeah, it's, yeah. I think it's great. It talks, I mean, it says a lot about our company. Yeah, a lot of people might not expect to see a boating company here, but um, you continue to innovate and make a splash here at CES. Uh, can you talk about just being here at CES with Brunswick? Yeah, so it's a huge venue for us. It's one of the few places we exhibit as Brunswick. Mm. We have a lot of go-to-market brands like a Cire brand or a Boston Whaler brand or Mercury Marine. But here we exhibit as a total enterprise. And it's a super opportunity for us to show a full portfolio of our technologies. And you mentioned automotive in there. A lot of the same technologies that we see in automotive apply to marine. And we're at the leading edge there. We have our strategy called ACES, autonomous, connected, electrified, and shared. And we're showing all of those in our exhibit this year. What is driving you as a company to develop new tech in this space where, again, you stand alone here at CES when people see you guys? Well, we're the biggest company in the recreational marine business. So we feel it's incumbent on us to advance the industry. Mm -hmm and advance the technology. Fundamentally, recreational boating is about having fun. Mm -hmm. So we want technology to create fun. Now, how you do that is make it more intuitive to boat, make it less stressful, help with some of the bigger challenges, make it more sustainable, for example. So even if you're an experienced boater, technology can really help, uh, whether you're fishing or whether you're surfing or what, whatever you're doing, we can enhance that with technology. But certainly if you're a new boater, Helping with some of the stressful situations like docking, you know, can really make the difference between the, the kind of boat you choose or whether you enter. Dave took me on a tour of the Brunswick booth. I guess let's call it a, a harbor showcase. It is, yeah, yeah. So maybe we should see what happened there. Okay, everybody, I am here with Dave. We are now in the Brunswick booth. This is incredible. I'm surrounded by boats and I'm surrounded by you. But, <laughs> so, you know, you're showcasing a lot of things. We know that you have a CES 2024 Innovation Award yeah. um, for your electric outboard, uh, I guess, uh, engines for yes, your boats. Right. So yes, right. um, I'd say, like, let's just enjoy this booth and walk around and have you kind of showcase what you want to show me. Sure. Well, let's walk up and take a look at okay. that award winning uh, outboard motor, okay. first of all. This is amazing. Or is this like a harbor? It uh, is. It's, right, a, right. it's a kind of conceptual harbor concept. Yeah, yeah. Um, and it's, it's really under the umbrella of our Freedom Boat Club, mm -hmm. which is a subscription boating model. Um, so we wanted to present something that had boats in context, not yeah. just, you know, here's a boat. Yeah. Let's put it in a beautiful context. This is where you normally find those boats, right? Oh, yeah, absolutely. So this is our range of Avatar um, electric uh, outboard motors under the Mercury Marine brand. Mm -hmm. And we began to sell these and produce them in 2023. So we brought out the first three last year. I remember that. We've, uh, we've already made about 5,000 of them. So we've been ramping up really quickly. Demand is really strong, particularly in Europe. Europe is a big market for these engines. They're very innovative and have already won quite a few awards. Mm -hmm. We were lucky enough to win another award this year for the latest uh, two models that we introduced in 2023. And you guys have always been really ahead of the curve of, okay, we see electrification happening yeah. in mobility. Mm -hmm. Let's bring it to, you know, the boating industry. Yeah. Where, where do you see it going from here, right? This is the second generation. Yeah. And so how do you see this continue to evolve in the electrification space? Well, one thing about Marine is it's a more difficult, more challenging application than on-road vehicles like um, passenger vehicles. So where it's coming in, first of all, is in smaller boats that require um, a little bit smaller batteries. Boats are really weight sensitive. They're more like aircraft than they are like road vehicles. Yeah. So we have to be careful about um, the weight that we're putting on these boats. But there are plenty of applications for um, small boats, for tenders, for other things where you don't need a lot of range. So we see this coming in in relatively low power areas and then progressing up. And in fact, we're introducing uh, two new models at the show here, which are higher power, mm. and then even a concept for a much higher power electric motor. We're teasing All right. it. All right. Oh, a it's little not tease ready here at yet. CES. Bit of a I tease know, for CES, thing. but that new motor will be in the future in the next couple of years. Okay, so we have this awesome harbor. Yeah. Um, as we kind of move across here, can can you talk a little bit more about um, about the boat club that you have? 
Yes, so Freedom Boat Club um, is a subscription uh, boating model that we have 400 locations around the world. Lots in the U.S., in Florida, in the Northeast, in Marina del Rey. I didn't even know that. It's yeah, right. and That's um, in Sid we have eight in Sydney, south of France, the U.K. So we have them everywhere. You join the club, a bit like you would a golf club. You pay a monthly subscription. You have access to boats in the location you join at. So I don't but have to own a boat? I no. Don't. Oh, okay. you don't own a boat. The boats are owned by us. We make them available to you. You basically book it on an app. Oh, wow. And wow. you, if you live in New York, you can still use boats in Florida or south of France or if you, you know, whenever you go on vacation. So it's a super convenient wow. model if you, don't, if you want to go boating, but you don't necessarily want to own a boat. And it's been incredibly popular. We have about 100,000 members already. Wow. That, that so we wanted fun. to introduce this as part of our display this year. That is super cool. Now, you know, we were over there talking about electrification mm -hmm. of motors. Um, these flight what, e foils, is that <laughs> yes. how we're referring to them? E foils. Let's, let's exactly talk about this because right. this, this looks incredible. Um, I'm a surfer. I've seen yeah. these hydrofoil like devices, but this is, uh, is it safe to call this almost like an electric hydrofoil? Yeah, is it, is. it is. It really is. Exactly okay. what it is. This is the scooter version. So you actually have handlebars on here. So <laughs> if you're, you know, not as proficient yet, um, this is a perfect device, but essentially it's a board a bit like a surfboard. Uh, inside here is a lithium ion battery pack. Oh my gosh. And then you see underneath here is the hydrofoil that lifts it out of the water. And under there is an electric motor that powers it. So these things will go 20 miles an hour for about three hours. And how so, is there a remote? How does has someone Yeah, there is a thing? remote. So in this one, it's built into the handle, but you can take it off as well. It's okay. a Bluetooth controlled <laughs> uh, device. So you basically hold it in your hand. <laughs> <laughs> and in this case, you have the handlebars to help you out. But um, right over there is another model which doesn't have the handlebars, which is much more like a conventional mm -hmm. uh, surfboard, which is the majority of the boards that we sell. Now, I'm looking at this entire setup you have here. CES is always bigger <laughs> and better. What, what am I looking This is incredible. The 405 Conquest. This looks amazing. What type of tech are you showcasing here? Uh, quite a lot of tech on this boat. This is a Boston Whaler 405 Conquest, as you said. It has three of our 600 horsepower V12 <laughs> engines on it, but they are very, very efficient engines, the most efficient engines in the industry. But one of the things we can do on a boat like this, we can't replace that kind of power electrically yet, but normally a boat like this would have an internal combustion engine on it just to generate energy for the onboard systems. Mm -hmm. And in this case, if, you, uh, if we walk across here, you might be able to just see inside here Oh, a thing yeah, called there. Fathom. Yes, yes. And that is replacing that internal combustion engine inside the boat with a huge lithium ion battery pack that powers all the systems on here. Oh, wow. But probably the coolest piece of tech on here, and you can just see it up there. You can just see these cameras uh -huh. um, that um, are built into the hardtop here, but there are six cameras around here that sense the environment and allow the boat to dock itself. Wow. So a boat like this, docking a boat like this can be a stressful <laughs> maneuver, even if you're an experienced You're investing a lot in person. this You're thing, investing yeah. a lot in so. this thing. So obviously we can't demonstrate docking this boat directly in this environment. So we brought along a simulator. Of course you did. Which is super immersive okay. and realistic to allow you to experience exactly what this boat can do. So you're gonna trust me to dock your boat in this we, simulator, uh, right? That's, okay, okay, it's all about, it's all about trust. All right, let's go check it out. Yeah, so this is our simulator. It's oh, an incredible immersive experience that allows you to see what it would be like to drive this boat and also to experience the auto docking function. The visuals already make me feel like I'm I on know, a boat, like we're feels... on flat ground, but oh, it's... So we can get the boat moving here and head towards the marina. I trust you here. I, but I really do. Why don't you, why don't you take over oh, the helm? Gosh. Why don't you take okay, over okay, the helm? Okay, okay. Follow okay. the light. Fo follow the light? Follow the light, yeah. Oh, this like blue light? Pat? Yeah, the blue okay. light in front of you will okay. guide you okay. into the marina. But the idea is, of course, not everybody can be on a big boat like this. And I'm trying to pay attention here, David. Uh, I'm just kidding. Keep going. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes. Yes. Keep going. Not everyone but can. But we can do it in a simulated environment mm. like this and explore lots of different docking scenarios that you wouldn't be able to oh. create in real time. Oh, wow. It's res like I'm turning it's a little too much. It's responsive. Yeah. <laughs> Careful, y'all. Look at I'm Don't coming worry. in hot. We'll get close and it'll actually automatically slow you down. Okay, and that's because of the system and the sensors Yeah, it and is everything? because of the system, yeah. So it recognizes now that we're inside the marina. We have a little, you have an assistant to help you through the process. And then it will ask you to begin auto dock. I probably so just hit that. that, yeah. 
it might, it'll also avoid obstacles. And there might be a few obstacles here, so just be. Oh my gosh, are you really, are you really trying to freak me out like that? So now it's scanning to see where the available slips are. And it's doing like a, a, a mapping of this. With the, it is. Are those LiDAR sensors? They could be LiDAR sensors. In this case, on the main boat right now, it's optical sensors. Okay, okay. So now you need to just pick one of the two pick docking the locations that's okay, available. Let's yeah. go here. Okay, now. Auto dock. Okay, now you take your hands off the wheel and it will it will take over. Look, Ma, no hands, no hands. <laughs> Mama, I'm on a boat with Dave together. I, do I docked it, I did it. <laughs> CES 2024, I'm the king of the world. I'm on a boat, baby. <laughs> that, that was fun. Th thanks for uh, playing along. You are very welcome. You know, it was fun for us too. I've never, I've never gone on a boat that size and, and done something like that before. <laughs> like, like I said, uh, you know, a big theme here. You even talked about it, even on the 405 Conquest, um, sustainability, yeah. right? And so, what other ways is Brunswick, um, you know, approaching sustainability? Well, you saw some of it in the products that we're showing, the electric outboards the onboard power system that allows you to replace the generator that you see on a lot of bigger boats with a high capacity lithium ion battery and power management system. But we take sustainability very seriously in all ways through our uh, company, particularly in our facilities. So by next year, about 60% of our electricity will come from sustainable or wow. renewable sources. We're putting solar installations in all of our major facilities. We're also looking at um, reducing waste that goes to landfill, for example. So many of our facilities are um, recycling waste versus uh, going to a landfill. So lots of ways we can recycle water, we can recycle the waste from our facilities, we can use more renewable sources for our energy for our facilities. Wow, I mean, across the board, right? Is, yep. do, during that effort, I mean, does it take a little, I guess what, restructuring and just thinking differently about how to approach these different aspects of your business to make them sustainable? It does. It takes some thought. It takes some investment, but it's well worthwhile. In a lot of cases, to be honest, Brian, it saves you money to be more sustainable. Mm. So this is not about adding cost. In a lot of ways, it's subtracting cost. And the other thing it does is our employees are so engaged personally in sustainability. Our newer employees, our younger employees, they expect it from a company like us. And we're very happy to, you know, to invest in that part of our business. I like what you said there because there's been plenty of, I guess let's call them surveys or polls where this younger generation, this new generation and this new blood that is coming into the workforce mm -hmm. in your company, sustainability is one of the top priorities of how they align yes. um, and choose to support or buy from different companies. And so, you know, the fact that you're speaking and understanding that that young generation cares about that and addressing that as well. I mean, it's hugely important. You know? it, it is. I mean, obviously we're looking to recruit the best talent. Yeah, yeah. You don't get the technology that we have without the best talent. And you always want to make sure <clears throat> that you're prioritizing what they're prioritizing. We prioritize things from a business perspective, but also from an employee perspective. And our employees are really engaged in sustainability. Yeah, you know, I'm engaged in the fact that mm. I don't have a boat yet. We we got to ride the boat together. together. Um, I mean, I'd love to actually you know, jump on a boat with you, man. And we should do that you on know. one of our flight boards. I, I would love, I would love to. So, so you're throwing out the offer there? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Okay. Whenever you are ready. Okay. You know, when I said I'm on a boat, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be on a boat. All right. Thank you, Dave, so much. You are very Appreciate welcome. It. Have a Thank great you show. so much. Thank you. All right. AI is obviously a major trend here at CES. Next up, we take a tour of the Google experience to see how Google AI is getting integrated into Android.